Come on. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's never, never. Let's go. Yeah, it's it's pretty mucked up. I think I could clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. D d see if it's vibrating at all. Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here, boost me up. <sighs> Okay, got it. Uh, there. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. I'm the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. All tops you got with you. Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Light her up.
time to burn. Here I come! Ready. You good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. Just, um, you never mentioned him before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's, uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky, Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. Uh, no, hey, hey! Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <laughs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. <sighs> God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> Deep, come on. This? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. It was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, well, right? Yeah, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Deke. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Get low! Get on the back! Find them! Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake <laughs> Camp! Iron Mike has Red a treaty! Hey. <laughs> well, that was a really good idea. You wanna try that again? Yes. Those are kind of far from home, aren't you? Finally. Why don't you drag your ass back to Iron Butte and find the shithole you crawled out from? Listen to me. We're from Lost Lake. We have a tree. Far north, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you?
How about we just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Really think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa, what? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I. I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU 23s, modified anti aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear. When I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by, the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, um, Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack, and uh, he ran the club, the uh, well, the press. That's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack? I remember Boozer talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There'll be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? 
God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. Now? A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut? That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that... Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before, and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times, all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? I worked at the Humane Society, had a small office and a dog. I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. All right, okay, let's go. Later, Deke.
Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm going to be gone for a while. I'm going to need you to cover for me. Skiz is going to wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So what are you going to do? Uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain and get his bike and put it back. That's a long way to go on foot. Figure something out. Are you, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Peeking out. Hey, Ricky, did you send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if he didn't tell him where the seeds were. Ah, oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. Deke, heard you track down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike, I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're going to have a trial. You'll get a chance to tell his side of it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. Out of the infirmary today, man. Addie said she'd heard enough of my whining to last her a lifetime. Yeah, sounds like Addie. How's the arm? You know, it's about 50% there. <laughs> Sorry, a little amputee humor there. Seriously, though, it's like I can still feel my right hand, you know? Yeah, I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, yeah, that's what Addie said. It, man, it fucking sucks. I feel pain in my finger joints, you know? Like, after a long ride, your hand gets gummed up. I, I would have flexed it and... Anyway, I, I gotta get going. Skizzle's got me on farm duty. I gotta see if I can uh, pay off these damn pain meds that Addy has me on. Later. Later. Oh, come on, let's do this. Huh? Getting low on ammo. Okay, Ricky, I'm near Eaton Hill. Yeah, Drifter's still here. Can you handle it? Well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Deacon out. Booster, you there? Yeah, Deacon. How you doing, brother? Same as always. You still out there chasing choppers? Yeah. Figure out what the hell they're up to yet? Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. Hey, I gotta get going. The schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Oh, come on. You could do better than that. <sighs> How many you got left? Yeah, always. All right, gentlemen. I thought you'd just swing by, shoot up the place. Nah, I just think it's time you move along. Oh, is that it? No, oh shit, one more. Need ammo. Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay, time to radio in. Let Ricky know. Deacon? How'd it go? It's done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof. Thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are gonna be best friends before you know it. Bye, Deke.
Boos, are you there? Yeah, Deke. How you doing, brother? Same as always. You still out there chasing choppers? Yeah. Figure out what the hell they're up to yet? Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, I'll pass that along. Later. down those boys, shot up the gate, and took off. Hey, Mike, yeah. Uh, I found them, and they won't be coming back. Seems like it's getting worse. A lot of squatters and drifters we got coming through. No offense to present company. Uh, yeah, Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tourists. Always coming up here from California. Well, I guess if I had the choice. Yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I was gonna call. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah. I got a lot of choice here, do I? Oh, shit. No 
shed. Look at its clothes. They're almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and no, I didn't catch your name. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. I got a use for something. Let him in. I used to be a cop. Later, Deke. Gonna be here late. Try to make Trevor a day or two, will ya? I thought I saw What's something out there. Out there. Something's going on. Men ah! coming! Job came up. Ricky, yeah, um, okay, I'll stop by. Stay John out. Scrap. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Deke. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. 
Thanks, brother. Yeah, that's the one thing I guess. Riding on the open road. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. What do you want? You got something to say about it? Deke, I'm really worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. You know them? No, but uh, I've seen them around. What's 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 going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. Well, the lake sure is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east, over to the Metolius River. What the hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah. I'll uh, I'll see if I can find them. Deacon, thank you so much. Hope I'm at the camp. Copy that. Cope out. Cope. Uh, Manny killed. Who was it? The young kid. Everyone called him Gopher. Never knew his real name. Gopher. How old was he? Like I said, a kid. Nineteen, twenty. No idea how he lasted this long, but he was a good kid. Why are you asking? No reason. If you spent more time at the camp, got to know folks, maybe you'd find a reason. Cope out.
battle. Bandana. I want to see it for myself. Go out. Yeah, Open the gate. Of course you do. That drifter. Yeah, I know him. How's it going? <laughs> nice work. Lost more than a few men trying to hunt down that son of a bitch. Next time, just come to me. You volunteering? Never thought I'd see the day. My bike. Go see Manny. If you got enough camp credits, he'll fix you right up. Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope. What's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of Leary Mountain the other day. So they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Cope, this is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, looked a lot like the one who was here was to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You get... Hey, Ricky, what else can you tell me? Before everything went to hell, the girl's family had a fishing site that they always used to go to. I marked it on your map. Okay, I'll start there. Deacon up. Okay, the girls are fishing. Oh shit. Marauders, Jesus. Men coming! <laughs> Leg bastard. <sighs> Broke it 
over his head. Okay, way to go, Abigail. Don't go without a fight. The tracks lead down this road. me now. Hey, come on and show yourself. We won't kill you. Drive us. 